Good day guys! So, kailangan nyo ng NBI clearance but you're in Australia. Wanna know how? I'll teach you. Step by step process. Makinig, makinig, makinig. Here we go. Anyway, step one. Well, first is, halungkatin yung mga papeles nyo and try to find out if you still have the old NBI. The old NBI clearance, yung papel, should be around 2014. If it's still in 2014, good news, you don't have to go to the embassy. But, if you have one, but it's um, later than, later, is it later? But if it's older than 2014, or really wala kang NBI clearance, you can't find any, you need to go to the embassy, the Philippine embassy, which is located in the city. You have to Google map. Use Google map how to get there, okay? Okay. You need to go there to the embassy and have your fingerprints. So, this is what the embassy told me. They ha they're clarifying it. They are not the ones who will give you the NBI clearance. Your purpose of going to the embassy is for fingerprints only. And then you will have that form na kasama na ipapadala nyo sa Pilipinas. Alright? So, you have your forms. It's either you have the NBI clearance, the old NBI clearance, or your fingerprints na inasikasi nyo sa embassy. Just a side note guys, um, you're gonna pay something sa embassy about the fingerprint. You're gonna pay something. I'm, I didn't write down how much, but um, wala silang F-POS, F-POS. Well, cash only lang sila. So, withdraw some, withdraw some money. So, para in the asal, you don't have to go out against the embassy and find an ATM machine. So, yeah, can't use your card to embassy, Philippine Embassy, Sydney. Nah, unfortunately. Anyway, um, all right. Step two is post it to Philippines. You should have a um, someone na mapagkakatiwala nyo or what they say is your representative. Fortunately, I have this man who is very how would I say very reliable. Hi, Sir Chris. Thank you very much. Very reliable. Um, my initiative. To follow up, to inquire things, and he's just a very smart man. He knows, he knows how to go with some stuff. So yeah, so hopefully you have that someone. Na, na really, it's very easy to deal with. He'll take care of you. So you just yeah, he'll t he'll take care of your papers. So you're gonna post your old NBI or your fingerprints na in the case of the embassy along with it is picture 2x2 two two picture should be around 3, three months old so that should be a recent picture um, what I did was I took a picture ako sa Australia Post it cost me $18.95 so yeah it's a set of photos but anyway we need that um, authorization letter to your representative saying na you're authorize, authorizing him na asikasuhin your, your papers in behalf of you because you're not there physically in the Philippines and you're in somewhere else in the world in Sydney. Next is photocopy of your passport. Yung photo page ng passport. Alright? Very important. And then... And then yeah, and then I just sent it through. Um, I, I I sent it through Australian Post Express. Um, it cost me around thirty dollars and eighty nine cents or eighty cents. International Express. Madali lang siya dumating sa uh, Manila around two days a day, two days maybe max. But the problem is I live in a pro province in the uh, countryside. I'm from Davao, so it, the papers took a while to go 
from um, to travel from Manila to Davao. Oh, uh, sad. Anyway, if you do, if you will going to use the Australia Post, you can um, have. They will send you a tracking number, so you will know online where is the paper. And I'm just lucky that my representative is very um, proactive on inquiring where is the paper or the paperwork. Next, when your representative received the paper already, um, you need to fill out the NBI website. That's www.nbi-clearance.com, and then you need to fill out some some stuffs like um, your name, your address, um, height. Um, with the address, I use the address here in Australia. So your height, religion, um, birthplace of your mom and dad. So. Um, yeah, keep those information ready. You can do it by yourself or let your representative do it. Because what we would need on that is yung reference reference number, referee number, or the number, whatever. Number four. Your um, representative needs to go. Your representative needs to go to Bayad Center. Uh, buy it center what I only know is 7-eleven so have to pay an amount of um, 170 pesos and then yun kailangan ni nila when you pay 7 7-eleven so it would be needing the reference number and then yung recibo nun is uh, ipapadala nyo din sa Manila sa main office headquarters and Next step is ipapadala mo na yung papers mo from your hometown to the headquarters sa Manila, NBI headquarters in Manila. Um, you can have any, cho you can have the choices go to LBC or meron din sa what do you call this? JRS, JRS prepaid return pouch, or G JRS prepaid. Just go to these um, establishments or companies na will help you because. They offering now when you send your papers, like you pay them in advance, so that your NBI will just send the papers back to you once you have your clearance. So that's very good. So LBC, so LBC, um, it cost me around two hundred thirty-two pesos, 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 two hundred thirty-two pesos padala, and then one hundred seventy-seven pabalik. When you need NBI clearance here in Australia, it could be your. You need it for your visa, and I can't think of any. You just you need it for your visa, so it could be you're applying for new visa or um, reapplying for your visa. So yes, it could be a, a big hindrance na mapas pas or mapadali yung application mo. It's getting sunny now. Weird. Ma mabilisan yung paperwork mo, application mo dito. So, yeah. So, uh, NBI, do it in, in advance if you can. So, yeah. So, after three, three weeks, I was able to receive my NBI clearance! So, most of the well the visa application in Australia is online now so you don't really need the actual copy the physical copy of your NBI clearance so if your representative was able to receive your NBI clearance now you can just let him um, scan it PDF file highest resolution as possible as clear as the sky and just forward to your email then you can continue with your visa application here or whatever purpose that you need it so yeah that's it pansit to recapitulate i hope i said it right to recapitulate um to get an nbi in the philippines is first you need to ho have your physical nbi clearance the old one should be not older than 2014 or 
um, process your fingerprints to the Philippine Embassy. Second, post your paperwork, your um, old NBI picture, passport, authorization letter to your representative in Philippines. Third, fill out your application form or let your representative fill out the application form so that you can get the reference number. It includes the name, address, height, religion, whatever, a lot of stuff. Fourth, um, you need to pay Sabayad Center. Usually it's 7 Eleven, don't know anything else. And then, fourth is padala nyo na your paperwork to the headquarters uh, in Manila. Uh, it could be LBC JRS. And fifth, wait for it. That's it, folks. Good luck! Adios! Babush!